Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Here's a tool you might think you'd need until you get one and you wonder what you ever did without it. This is an adjustable DC power supply. It comes in many types. This is just an El Cheapo. I don't leave this one unattended. There's a couple more El Cheapos and they're rated by how many amps and how many volts they put up. Here's a real expensive one. This is more for electronics. It's programmable. Fair bit more skookum as well. You don't need that. Hell, I don't need that. <laughs> These just cheap off the Slamazon, and what they do is you can adjust very minutely the voltage and the current. So it limits the voltage and it limits the current. Right now it's in current or voltage, constant voltage mode. But if we turn off the amps, turn down the amps, it will switch to constant current mode. And what this is useful for is troubleshooting electronics, including uber expensive lithium ion batteries. Now, these are very susceptible to damage from chargers, so they need to be charged a certain way. And that way is constant current and certainly not over voltage. Lead acid batteries in your car, they're tough as nails. You can give them 15 volts all day long, not, not going to do anything to them. You give this 5 volts instead of 4.2 and it will damage the battery. These are called banana plugs, banana leads. And there's also a wire nut here, so you can just put a bare wire on there, tighten down the nut. Red for positive, black for negative. Ground is the grounding lug. It's connected to the well, the earth, and you can see here, ground is connected to the grounding lug through one of these guys, a bus bar. And you set your voltage, your maximum voltage. For a lithium ion battery, it's 4.2, 4.26, depends on the what the manufacturer says. 4.2 is pretty safe. And the course adjustment is coarse. So we go with the fine adjustment to get it to 4.2. Two. 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 <laughs> now what you do is you take the alligator leads and you might get a little spark. If you have these connected. You connect these up like so. And then you can set your amperage. We want a maximum of one amp for these batteries. Now, if they're dead dead, you can reduce the voltage and reduce the amperage to just trickle charge it until it gets strong enough to take a proper charge. Now, I don't leave these unattended. They have blown up and they will continue to blow up. They're cheap. There's a reason this one's 50 bucks and this one's 500. Also, when you're charging lithium ion batteries, they're flammable. If in the innards get out, they blow up. So just be aware. But if you, if you bring it down to 4.2 volts max and one amp, you're only putting through two watts. You're going to be okay. What I'm doing on this snap-on battery is balancing the cells, each to his own. What happens is eventually they get out of whack a little bit and when you charge it up it goes to the the good battery goes to 4.2 volts but the one that's lagging behind is maybe sitting at 4 volts that doesn't sound like a big deal until you realize that you're missing out not only on that 0.2 volts and the difference between charged and discharged is only a volt so you're missing out on that 0.2 volts but you're also missing out on the tail end too. So you're actually missing 0.4 capacity. You, By having these out of balance, you can drop 20% capacity in the battery like that. So if you have an older battery and it's starting to get a little bit weak, if you balance them out, then it gives you a new lease on life because you're doing full stroke instead of doing half stroke. 
The other fantastical thing you can do with the power supply, the adjustable power supply, remember it limits the voltage and it limits the current, so you can adjust both. You don't get that out of a wall wart. You just get one voltage and it will, it will put out as many amps as possible. So this little guy, I don't have the battery charger for because it's 220 volts. So what you do is you just get yourself a piece of brass or something, stick it in there, and then you can charge it up to 12 volts. Same with this old battle axe. You can buy these for pennies because nobody likes the batteries, these NICAD batteries. These NICAD batteries, the, the chemistry is quite a bit more robust or less finicky than the lithium. So you can charge these up with your power supply now you got yourself a deburring drill for your CNC machine. Regular old car batteries occasionally go below the voltage that the electronic chargers will allow and it won't charge. You just bring yourself over to here, force some pixies in there, and then it'll go. Sometimes you can salvage a battery. Sometimes. A 200 bucks a battery, well, it's worth a try. There you go. A tool, <laughs> new project, new tool, a tool you didn't know you needed, but they're fantastic. And you can buy it with the money you save from recovering those $200 red batteries. You throw a couple of those out and buy some new ones. You might be able to salvage one or two of those. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a voice.